Hi, Ulf here, and welcome back to Learning Internet of Things. Now that we've covered the basics of creating IoT applications, we can create something useful and of value. A couple of weeks ago, when I was given the task to water a couple of plants, I decided to create an IoT application that took care of the whole issue for me. To keep the soil at the right moisture level, you need to understand how much water is flowing out of the soil and water the soil to match that outflow. But as with any dynamic system, the signs of how much water is flowing out of the soil is delayed. It can take a couple hours before the plant itself shows signs of dehydration, or even worse, drowning. In short, the trick to controlling dynamic systems is to adjust the system in small increments and wait for the system to respond in full. But we can do better. Just like you and I can predict the soil will consume more water on a hot day, a controller with records can guess how much water the soil is consuming in relation to current temperature and light. Ideally, this type of application will maintain a stable level of water. To achieve this goal, I will be using an IoT platform. To find out more about this tool that helps you make IoT applications quickly, check out the text below. With that said, I hope that you have everything you need to create your own IoT applications. As always, I'm Ulf, and thank you for watching.